welcome back guys in the last lectures we have completed the two operations in the crud application they are create and read so we have sent the data from our react js to the firebase and we have retrieved the data from the react firebase to the react js and we have represented the data in the users list that means table now we are left with the remaining two operations in the crud application they are update and delete so when it comes to the crud application it may be any technology or any library update is one of the difficult task compared to all the remaining task like create read delete so it's very complex task so that's why listen very carefully and write down the code in your notebooks or any notepad etc because as i said update is one of the difficult task we need to do some core concepts in the react js like passing props taking props etc so first of all let us assume the application like this so first of all i will refresh this page here you can see now i want to and now i will tell one blueprint how we want to perform the update operation so here in this application we are having the two components parent component as well as the add user component add user component is the child of parent component so in react there is a topic called as props which is used to pass child from parent component to the child component so here we are going to implement the props in this update operation when we click the update operation update button for any one of these object we are going to pass this object to the add user component so this add user component will take that object and it will print the values in the input fields so we will get the values with initialized values then you can edit that values and you can click the save button to update it in firebase so once again i will tell after getting the users list we have two actions action delete action update we are going to discuss about this delete button in the coming lectures in this lecture we are going to concentrate only on the edit that means update so whenever we click on the edit button suppose if i click on this first edit first object edit button mahendra singh the and if i click on this edit button we have to send this value that means complete object to the add user component using props so whenever i click on this edit option you have to print these values in this input fields then you can update it directly instead of going into another route or instead of creating another component for this only edit option you can use this add user component only because already we are having the same input fields first name last name email and save you just need to get these values in these input fields and if you want to edit anything you can edit or if you want to save directly you can save and there will be separate code for editing there will be separate code for both adding and editing and we are going to see that in the next lecture as of now in this lecture we have to concentrate on how to send these values to the input fields when we click on this button so here this users list is present in the parent component and this form is present in the add user component we have to send this any one of the object that means respective object if we click on the second object edit button you have to send second object if i click on the first object edit button we have to send the first object so now i am going to implement that open vs code so this is our parent.js component so first of all i will create one hook for current object that means the object that we are clicking const hook current object or current user we can call it as current user set current user equal to use state as i said initially it is empty so when we have to update this current user when we click on the update button of any respective object so here we have the icons so this first one is the delete icon and the second one is the update icon here you can see first one is delete second is the update so here for the second one you have to write the on click function on click on click equal to so i will write the arrow function so in this arrow function you have to update the current user so you just need to type set current user and the current user will be this user that means iter we are iterating for every iteration we will get one row so that's the reason you have to write user 
so now let's check the output if you click on these edit button we have to send these values to this add user component now i will click on the edit button here you can see there is no change in the output because we have created the user and we have sent the user but we haven't received it in the add user component so we have to send the props with these values so where is add user component so here you can see this is the add user component so in this add user component you have to send the props you just need to type current user current user equal to in the curly braces you have to write current user control s and now we have to receive that value in the add user component first let me check whether we are receiving the values correctly or not so in this add user dot js component i will write the use effect function use effect so remove all these things so use effect is one of the react hook which will be executed automatically whenever the component is rendered so here we need to take the props in the add user we have to take the props we are getting the user data current user data in the form props so here i will import use effect hook control s sorry control s yeah now initially we do not have these props because when we click on the edit button only we will get the props to the add user component so after clicking the edit button we have to get the props to the add user component then i will print that props value in the console so when i receive the value to these props i will print the values in the console console dot log props dot current user that means current user is the object props is the method or we can call it as a parameter current user control s now i will open the console here you can see we got the object because we have clicked on the edit button initially now i will refresh the page here you can see now there is no object because we haven't clicked on the any one of the edit button now i will click on the second user edit button this is ronaldo 9989 here you can see now i will click so there is no change in the output let me click once again edit here there is no change in the output let me check the error so here the error is we haven't mentioned the props dot current user in these array brackets because we are waiting for any we are waiting for an external object which is which is coming from the parent element so whenever this scenario occurs we have to specify the variable name for which we want to wait so here we are waiting from the props dot current user so in this array we have to mention that so it will execute whenever we got that element only props dot current user control s refresh the page and now open the console so remove all these things and now i will click on the edit button for the second object here you can see we got the second object in the console so we got all the details email first name id and last name now i will click on the edit option for the first button first object that means first user here you can see now i got the edit uh, edited details for the first object so now we can add these details to these input fields and when we click on the save button first we have to check which operation we should perform if we have the current user we should perform the update operation if we do not have the current user we must be performing the new user operation so how can we check we can check using the if condition if props dot current user that means if current user is present you have to perform the edit operation if our current user is not present we have to perform the save operation that means adding new user so here that is very simple updating is very simple here the complex task is you have to send the current user information from parent component to the add user component when we click on the edit button so once again i will explain how to send that first of all we have to create one variable current user object initially it is empty 
when we click on the edit button you have to update that value set current user is equal to user and we are sending that current user value to the add, add user component using the props because we can send the data from parent component to the child component using props only in react.js so this is the current user component initially it is empty only in, in add user component also this value will be empty only when we click on the update button only this current user variable will get the values so in the use effect function first you have to get this value props dot current user so you can receive the value using here this props parameter so here we need to mention some changes in the use effect function because we are waiting from external variable that is coming from the parent component so use effect will be executed sometimes automatically without getting that value that's the reason you have to tell the compiler that until unless the props dot current user is present in the application please don't execute the use effect function so if you execute also you have to specify the if conditions now i will write the if conditions remove this console.log and instead of that console log console dot log we have to update these input values that means if you are clicking on if you click on this edit option you have to update these values to these input fields so i will write first set f name so our f name value will be present in props dot current user dot f name not f name first name first name and set l name props dot current user dot l name not l name last name so forgotten one last name and the last one is set email set email props dot current user dot email control s here you can see now i got the values for this first object i will refresh the page here you can see now we will get the error cannot read property first name of undefined this is because when we initialize the page we haven't clicked the edit button that's the reason these these statements will be executed and the compiler couldn't find this props dot current user dot first name that's the reason i have said we have to implement the if condition if props dot current user if current user object is present in this add user component oh, then only you have to execute these statements so please copy these statements and write if condition if props dot current user props dot current user that means if anyone click on the edit option only this compiler will go to the if statement that means props dot current user if our current user is present then it will update the current user values with the input fields now i will execute the program here you can see this time there is no error if you open the console also there is there will be no error inspect here you can see there is no error this error is from unique so you can avoid it and now close this and click on any one edit button here you can see now i have got the first object details in this input fields if i click on this save button it will be added to a new user so we should not do that first in that on click function also we have to check if condition if it is current user we have to update the information if it is not a current user we have to add it as a new user now i will click on the second object input field here you can see it is changed to the second object input field now we have to only do one thing in the on click function which on click function button on click function here you can see after clicking on the on click function we will execute the save data function in this save data function first we have to check whether we should do insert operation or update operation insert means push operation update means there is there will be a separate method called set and in the next lecture we are going to see that thank you